Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the country where you're watching the stream right now. And I am live on the English channel after a break of literally, literally two months. It's actually 46 days precisely when the last time I came live in this group. And uh, the reason why uh, I did not continue coming live and uh, recording more videos for this channel was because let me be brutally honest I was actually looking for a sponsor uh, the mistake I made uh, with my first Urdu channel uh, that was I searched to a heights of popularity in no time and uh, somebody pointed my attention towards the point towards the fact that uh, you did all this on your own without getting a sponsorship. And here I was uh, looking at their face absolutely blank. And I had no idea what uh, that guy was talking about. And uh, then he uh, brought to my attention the importance of having a sponsor for your channel because uh, down the road when videos start to do well on YouTube when they begin to get indexed for your business related keywords uh, more viewership means that you are actually paying back uh, to the value uh, the subscriber has paid you in money and uh, I kept looking around looking for sponsors for this English channel because uh, when I'm supposed to recreate all those playlists in English uh, starting with freelancing moving down to digital marketing social media marketing blogging uh, e-commerce digital products and of course how to grow your YouTube all of this would have made perfect sense if there was somebody you know you could count on uh, this would uh, you know make you uh, literally feel free from the worries of uh, uh, spending your time on, on, on YouTube and creating videos, uh, knowing that, you know, you're taken care of and somebody is uh, paying you for your time. But that, that unfortunately did not happen. I waited for as long as uh, the hell could freeze over 60 days, but that did not happen. So day before yesterday, when I was uh, conducting my last class on my main channel, uh, that was a YouTube class on Friday, I decided that uh, enough is enough. Let's just go back to the English channel, spend time with the people, spend time uh, with uh, everybody who wants to learn how to make money online through different platforms. So before I begin, let me acknowledge your comments here and all those who are saying salam, wa alaikum as salam and uh, uh, greetings, namaste to everybody who's watching it from all over the world or who would watch it later. Now, for those who are used to my huge traffic real time on my main channel, be advised, this is a little baby. So you would not get uh, as much of audience or the comment stream would not float as quickly as you are used to on my main channel. But the idea is to uh, populate this channel as well with a lot of good content, uh, with good people subscribing to my channel, hopefully. And uh, in return, I can add value in their lives by teaching them uh, the importance of making money online. So the title of the video says how to make money online in 60 seconds. And that's what I'll try to do. Staying on the clock and uh, let's see how it goes. So I'm going to create playlist on this channel starting with freelancing and the freelancing playlist. I'm going to talk about the importance of learning business development, importance of uh, learning a skill. It could be free. It could be web design. It could be content writing. It could be web development. Uh, if you belong to a financial background, we're going to talk about the importance of QuickBooks. If you belong to an engineering background uh, and have done a degree in engineering, we're going to talk about AutoCAD. That's something my main channel doesn't have, by the way. And uh, I specifically uh, kept all those videos for this channel. So count yourself lucky uh, if you're still watching this. And uh, 
alongside freelancing, we're going to go to different freelance marketplaces. We're going to see how to uh, effectively, how effectively we can build on different marketplaces, the importance of uh, understanding a difference between traditional marketplace and a non-traditional freelance marketplace, the importance of uh, getting business from uh, classified ads such as Craigslist, um, Gumtree, the importance of creating your own website and getting business from social media marketing, Facebook and Facebook owned companies. That's what uh, the idea is uh, alongside learning out uh, guru.com, freelancer.com, peopleparar.com, top tell. Top tell is something we, go, we are going to cover in this English channel as well. And then uh, of course, Fiverr, I'm going to create a, a new Fiverr profile and create seven gigs and see if we can get an order uh, by creating uh, uh, a nice gig that ranks well in a competition. So after freelancing, we're going to talk about blogging and that's going to be a different playlist. In a blogging playlist, you are going to learn how to select business related keywords for your blog, how to rank your blog, how to find keywords that rank well on Google and other search engines, uh, how to get Google AdSense approval. We are also going to learn how to get more traffic on your blog by uh, keeping a close eye on trending topics. Uh, and of course, a lot more related to blogging. Then, of course, the talk of the town. Everybody is worried about learning digital marketing. It's one of the hottest buzzword of 2021 already, uh, 10 days uh, into 2020. Uh, and uh, people are talking about it's actually we are about to step into an 11th date in, in 20 odd minutes. Uh, that's where at least, uh, you know, since I'm from Pakistan and it's 1140 right now. But digital marketing is something everybody should learn. If you are a struggling small business, you need to learn how to digitally market your business. Because 2020 has shown us everything uh, with regards to understanding the importance of uh, uh, surviving on internet and do your business. 2021 probably would not be much different from 2020. And uh, if we do not learn from the mistakes we have made in 2020, we are going to uh, have a very modest, very mediocre 2021 as well. So the idea is to teach everybody uh, about the importance of digital marketing so that uh, they can learn how to establish a strong footprint on internet and uh, get leads and, and convert those leads into uh, sales on, in, on the internet. Uh, once that is taken care of, we're gonna jump to social media marketing. Now, Facebook and Facebook owned companies, um, they're they are dominating the social media market cap. Uh, a couple of days back, we just received a daunting notification from WhatsApp uh, requesting everybody to upgrade their app and uh, what is in it for us. Uh, by the way, a video would you know, will be released on my channel that's going to come tomorrow about uh, the uh, new policy of WhatsApp and uh, what uh, should we expect from this Facebook owned company and what are other alternatives to WhatsApp. Perhaps we could jump to Signal, perhaps we could jump to Telegram, but uh, all, all being said, in a true spirit, let's be honest to ourselves. I mean, at the end of the day, they had control on our uh, on our privacy from the day one. The moment we signed up for Facebook and Facebook owned companies such as Instagram and WhatsApp, we had, uh, you know, uh, we had literally given them a right to uh, access our uh, confidential information. They were locating and identifying and, uh, you know, uh, you know, keeping a close eye on our location and our status messages. Uh, on our video calls. And now since Facebook has, uh, last year, Facebook announced that it will integrate all three uh, platforms together so that if you put a status on WhatsApp, you could actually uh, put the same status real time on Instagram. 
all from within the WhatsApp app. And at the same time, you would be able to uh, submit that status message to Facebook. And likewise, you know, vice versa. If you put a status under your story of uh, your Facebook page or your Facebook profile, uh, you would be able to put the same status on your WhatsApp as well as on your Instagram. So all these three uh, Facebook owned companies, they were WhatsApp and Instagram were acquired by Facebook. Uh, and uh, hey, Prajwal, happy birthday, bro. Wishing you all the very best. So uh, there has been a lot of you know talk going on about uh, these privacy related issues. And I'm going to create a video and clarify and give my two cents about uh, about these Facebook owned companies, but for social media marketing, you got to understand that uh, Facebook has got 2.6 billion active users, and that's higher than the number of cars on the roads and planes in the skies all over the world. Now, if you want to advertise your business on Facebook and Facebook owned companies, now WhatsApp uh, joining in the equation as well. Remember, if you're not paying for the product, you are a product. And uh, that stands true for all social media accounts. Even uh, Google falls in this criteria as well. We are able to search everything on Google. We are able to watch anything on YouTube. And that essentially means that uh, there are no free lunches. At the end of the day, they are using our information, the, the kind of content we watch more often, the kind of content uh, we are more obsessed with on YouTube, the kind of searches we do on Google, that gives them, uh, you know, uh, an ability to collect a data and pass it on to the advertisers for advertising and uh, advertisement purposes. So this, 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 this is no open secret. Uh, the reason why this whole issue has surfaced up all the way to the top is because WhatsApp, a Facebook owned company has issued a notification. Why they have issued a notification? Well, the answer is simple. When you have their CEO called in to appear in front of the Congress every single month, and when you know you throw tough questions their way, uh, it happened with Darcy as well. It happened with uh, uh, Sundar Pichai, who who, pre who presented who represented uh, Google Alphabet. And then it happened with Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Mark Zuckerberg as well. Congress uh, men and Congress women did ask some real tough questions, asking about uh, the privacy of users on Facebook, on WhatsApp, and on Instagram. And uh, to nobody's surprise, Mark Zuckerberg had no answer. So therefore, uh, you know, there was always uh, uh, an attempt to push. Facebook to become more transparent. As a matter of fact, there was a talk about breaking these big trees and breaking, starting with breaking Facebook so that uh, it does not have this dominance on, uh, on, on the world as it is beginning to have. But that's for another day for us to brainstorm. For now, you know, when we talk about social media marketing, we talk about the importance of using these Facebook and Facebook owned companies to advertise and reach out to our targeted audience. And uh, we are able to do it seamlessly. All we need to have is a credit card information populated in our Google, uh, uh, in our Facebook ads account. And by populating that uh, credit card information, we can spend as much budget as we like in, uh, uh, raising an awareness about our brand and uh, getting more sales for our product and service. So social media marketing, we are going to discuss everything in detail, uh, not just Facebook and Facebook owned companies. We are also going to discuss the importance of spending a dime on YouTube uh, video advertisement. Uh, we have seen a lot of people spending huge amounts of budget on YouTube. Take Ty Lopez for an example. Remember his garage video that went pretty viral all over the internet? And the reason why that garage video went viral was because there's a case study, and I'm not building this up. Ty Lopez spent $1 million on the internet to make that video viral. It was spent on YouTube, 
It was spent on Facebook. And that's it. Everybody knows who Ty Lopez is. I mean, if you're spending one million um, uh, on an advertisement to make an ad go viral, uh, there's a good chance uh, one out of three would watch it. Now, after uh, after we uh, complete our playlist for social media marketing, we're going to discuss blogging in detail. And uh, in blogging, uh, we're going to discuss the importance of keyword research, keyword analysis, how to find the keywords that rank well on Google with, uh, you know, less competition, less difficulty. So let's put it other way around, perhaps with moderate competition, but less com less uh, difficulty. So a good competition and less difficulty is the order for having a good blog post because your keywords could well go viral and uh, given you include the keywords that people are searching for. So that's uh, what blogging uh, playlist is going to include. And then we're going to discuss Google AdSense in the blogging playlist. And uh, then the YouTube. We are going to learn how I, uh, how I was able to grow my YouTube channel from zero subscriber all the way to 200 and 15k subscribers in one year and to be honest it's not even one year it is more about 11 months surely i must have done something to reach out to all the targeted audience uh, who could understand urdu surely i must have done something uh, that uh, you know resonated well with the targeted audience uh, i i was looking to have as a subscriber and continuously watch my every single video. So that's where, you know, uh, we are going to learn the importance of uh, creating a YouTube channel. We are going to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, how to get more subscribers to begin with, how to fulfill that uh, initial requirement uh, YouTube has set forth, uh, which is to get uh, 1000 subscribers and complete 4000 watch hours. Uh, that's something I've not discussed on my main channel, uh, how to get a thousand subscribers and uh, get 4,000 watch hours. And we're going to discuss that in detail in the YouTube list. Then we're going to talk about digital products, the importance of having passive income, how to make money by selling eBooks, how to make money by designing tees, t-shirts on the Teespring. We are also going to learn how to make money by offering one-to-one -one consultation. You could be a teacher, you could be a consultant, you could be a trainer, and uh, how you could leverage on internet and the opportunities internet provides uh, by uh, rendering these services on different platforms such as Zoom, StreamYard, Skype, and then charge people for your time. And uh, alongside uh, these basic, uh, you know, preliminary examples of passive income, we are also going to talk about the importance of having a digital product, perhaps a software or something that could, uh, you know, uh, make your money come in, reel in, uh, reel in, 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 a, in an auto format, which essentially means that you do not have to sit on your desk nine to five and you're making money while, you, you know, uh, you, you you probably are sleeping, you probably are traveling, but still making money. That's what passive income is. Uh, how to create all those digital products. Uh, that's something, you know, you are going to learn inside the digital products playlist. Then we are going to talk about e-commerce. When you when I when I specifically say e-commerce, not only I'm going to discuss South Asian country scenario where accepting credit cards and monies is a, is one of the biggest problem. When you talk about Bangladesh, when you talk about Pakistan, when you talk about India, of course, you have PayPal and you can easily get a PayPal account and integrate that PayPal account onto your uh, WordPress website, or to your Shopify website, or to your PHP website, and you can accept money from people uh, online. But in case of Pakistan and Bangladesh, 
acquiring a merchant account is actually an uphill task because PayPal doesn't operate in Pakistan. Uh, we do not have much access to uh, different merchant accounts, payment gateways. In, in this scenario, what is the best way of, you know, what could do to accept money on their e-commerce website? That is what I'm going to teach you in the e-commerce playlist. But uh, we're going to start with identifying a product, then uh, the importance of developing an e-commerce website, establishing uh, a backend system where we can control our inventory, uh, how we can uh, uh, integrate merchant accounts or the payment gateway for that matter, uh, then creating social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and uh, interlinking all those platforms on our website and then seamlessly down the road being able to advertise our website on Facebook and Facebook owned companies. Uh, how to do sales, how to uh, take care of uh, uh, courier and courier charges to ship your products, how to uh, sign an agreement with international courier companies. If you want to sell your product outside your country, uh, you got to, you know, sign a contract with uh, DHL or T-Rex or any other courier company for that matter, you are also going to learn about the insurance of those products. You are going to learn about the money back assurances. You would be uh, required to give your to give to your customers. Uh, and uh, that's about it. A lot about e-commerce is going to come in the e-commerce playlist. Now, the most important thing, and I think that's a that's the the reason why I say it is most important is, uh, is because it uh, predominantly lies at the forefront of all these technical skills, and it's a soft skill called uh, it's a soft soft skills called uh, communication and copywriting services. So, in a copywriting services, you are going to learn the importance of. Uh, uh, how to use effective titles, how to have a great opening, how to uh, talk about your product, converting features into benefit, uh, giving a huge discount, create scarcity of your product or service, uh, offer money back guarantee, because guarantee is very important. And then, of course, the closing. Many people confuse closing with closing of a subject. But in the case of sales, closing is securing a deal. And the actual work begins when you close a deal, when you make, make a sale. So that's what copywriting is going to teach you. Uh, if you want to sell on social media, if you want to sell on Facebook, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, uh, LinkedIn, Quora, you got to understand the importance of uh, copywriting. The difference between copywriting and content writing is content writing tells about uh, a product, but copywriting uh, gauges up the audience for selling. And that's what the difference between copywriting and content writing is. Content writing, uh, you know, goes at length in highlighting the importance of uh, uh, of, of, of a product or a service, but the copywriting precisely summarizes all the offer and uh, uh, creates a hook that would potentially enable you to sell your product and service. Now, uh, we are also going to have an amazing playlist, and that is Learn English. And uh, in that playlist, there would be no uploaded video. Instead, all the live lectures um, that, I, that I record uh, over a period of time would fall inside that playlist. Uh, because I genuinely believe that if you want to survive on internet, if you want to excel in selling your product and services on internet related businesses, you've got to learn English because English is an international business language. For this purpose, we have created a Facebook group called Let's Talk English with Hisham. And uh, 
inside that close uh, Facebook group, we record our videos. We encourage each other to keep doing it continuously. And uh, I have observed in the case of many students, many freelancers, uh, and when I compare their first video uploaded inside that closed Facebook group and compare that video with their latest video, I find out that uh, the reason why they are getting better in spoken English is because uh, practice makes one perfect. Somebody uh, asked uh, Warren Buffett, one of the most profound investor investment bankers in the world, investors uh, you know in the world that uh, what is the one advice you could give to the younger people and Warren Buffett profoundly answered that if there's one advice I could give to the young people that would be work on your communication skills written as well as oral and the reason honestly speaking I hate talking about myself but uh, as a young boy who was growing up as a freelancer I was hardly out of Punjab leave alone Pakistan and seeing the world but the reason why I was able to uh, sail my way through and cement my place as one of the prominent freelancers in South Asia is because I worked on my communication skills. And the book like these have taught me more than anything else. Uh, I mean, um, the four-year college degree, unfortunately, could not even teach me as much as the books uh, that resonate well with my uh, with my liking, with my inspirational uh, inspiration and thought process. So I prefer reading books that I like. For example, if I've got this flair for cricket, I would read books about cricket. And, that's the, and that is an advice I always give to everybody who's struggling with communication skills, uh, predominantly spoken uh, and then written English. And that advice is, read books that uh, you know uh, resonate well with your thought process uh, read books that uh, you know uh, you are interested in so if you start reading books uh, about the topics you are more interested in you're just giving yourself an outright chance of uh, showing an interest and uh, finishing all the pages and once you finish reading all the pages, uh, you know, you get a fair bit of idea about uh, new words. You increase your vocabulary. And at the same time, you get a sense of how effectively a communication is done. And uh, this way, uh, by enhancing your vocabulary, by increasing your knowledge base, once you start communicating oral or written, you probably are in a better shape of uh, uh, doing a good job, an A1 first class job, as compared to somebody who does not read, who doesn't uh, consume visual content, uh, who doesn't interact or engage with somebody in spoken English. And um, you'll find out that uh, such individuals who do not invest their time in uh, in, in reading and then you know increasing their knowledge base and enhancing their communication skills uh, i have observed that uh, you know uh, they end up losing a lot of opportunities because uh, you should be able to convey your point of view across to the other businesses that's what effective communication skills is now, when I talk about communication skills, I am not referring to the importance of acing at English. No, that is something I would never, never force you about. Because when I look at people like Jack Ma, who, uh, who, who, who speak with a lot of grammatic, grammatical mistakes, a uh, lot of, uh, you know, uh, sentences that uh, have huge English mistakes. But at the end of the day, he is able to convey his point of view across. And as a freelancer, you've got to understand that little by little, one travels far. The baby step has to be taken. And that starts with, uh, even if you've got broken accent or uh, you, you cannot uh, utter good 
words of English by practicing it over again and again, you are giving yourself an outright chance to getting better at it. That's how I improve my communication skills. And uh, just to give you, uh, you know, an, a funny example, a few years back, when I used to directly interact with my freelance clients, uh, there was a project posted on guru.com. A dentist wanted to revamp his website and he gave his phone number in private message board when I, of course, placed my bed on the project. You're going to learn all this in the freelancing playlist. Don't worry for now, but just try to, uh, you know, uh, see the funny side of that incident. So I called Dave up and uh, we had a great conversation for good on 15 minutes where we spoke about the importance of using WordPress and uh, getting free images from pixels.com as well as, uh, uh, you know, requesting Dave to take photos, photos uh, of his uh, clinic and his staff and his equipment and send me those pictures. And, you know, we will uh, enhance those pictures. And uh, we, if possible, perhaps when you are treating a patient, uh, ask somebody to create a video and then, you know, uh, after taking permission from that patient, because laws in US are pretty strict and you cannot uh, take, uh, uh, you know, uh, a video, capture somebody on cam and then port it, post it on social media, you are going to get into a whole lot of trouble. So uh, Dave uh, was pretty much okay with it. And then uh, he said, hey, look, how about you uh, drive all the way to Kansas? Um, Kansas, I'm not in the US. Okay, so where are you from? Are you from Europe? Just to give you a little shock, Dave, um, I would request you to uh, put aside any uh, beverage you are holding in your hand. And if it is a hot cup of coffee, you better put it uh, on your desk or uh, or, on the, or, or on the floor right now because I'm going to tell you something interesting. I am from Pakistan. And the guy literally shouted, what? I said, yeah. So you live in West, right? And then you keep traveling between your country and West. Nope, I don't do it. The last time I was in West was like four years back. Fuck. You got to be kidding me, man. How did you learn English so uh, so effectively? And I, you know, uh, then went at length in explaining why I was forced to learn this uh, alien language. Because as a Pakistani who speaks Urdu and who does not have an exposure to an international market or the audience or the friends or the girlfriends for that matter, uh, I had to, you know, uh, practice it hard to the point that I was able to write and speak fluently. That is why I keep on emphasizing about the importance of learning business English. Now, whatever I'm you know, trying to explain here uh, does not necessarily mean that you have to pick up your pace the very first day. Remember, little by little, one travels far. Nothing happens open, overnight. But if you want to hop in a drive and uh, get to the point where uh, you are able to converse um, fluently in, in English with, uh, with other people, you've got to understand that, uh, uh, you, you know, you've got to do it continuously. Consistency is the key. And uh, once you keep on practicing it and practicing it over the period of time again and again, the only thing that is going to happen to you is you will get better at it. You're not going to get worse at it if you're practicing something, for God's sake. So that is how I improved my written as well as oral communication. Uh, and remember, English is an international business language. So if you want to become successful on, uh, you know, in on, on internet related businesses, try to understand that, uh, you got to be able to convey your point of view across. And this is the only way you'll be able to 
excel as a freelancer perhaps as a blogger because if when you are talking about blogging you've got to write in english right and uh, blogging actually is the closest form that resonates well with effective copywriting so if you write at length about something and unfortunately you're still unable to convey your point of view across to your viewers or your readers you have not done a good job so blogging uh, is uh, is you know something that uh, defines your thinking process uh, blogging is something that uh, uh, inculcates and orchestrates the way for effective copywriting and then uh, you know um, a, a good mixture of copywriting and a good mixture of content writing helps you go places in life so that's what blogging uh, could do to you if you are able to write effectively now the good thing about written communication the good thing about writing english is there are a lot of software there are a lot of computer aided programs that help you for example grammarly is one widget so i have installed grammarly on my google chrome and it helped me not only in identifying my spelling mistakes learning new words but it also helped me in setting up the tone of my content so if i've got a passive tone to my content grammarly would identify and it's a free widget by the way you could you could upgrade it now there's a there's a price to it and it uh, you know uh, lets you explore more features when you upgrade grammarly widget but uh, i'm not asking you to put your price uh, and uh, you know put your money on upgrading the grammarly widget right away all i am asking you to do right now is install grammarly widget on your browser if you are using edge firefox google chrome because grammarly not only identifies your spelling mistakes but it also identifies the tone of your content and this way by uh, you know uh, practicing it over and over and again and again you get better at uh, written english and of course if you want to improve your written english you got to read so i read a lot of blog post as a blogger on beingguru.com i did not start writing about uh, about different topics uh, without reading other content so i you know used to uh, follow business insider forbes uh, tech crunch uh, pro, pro uh, uh, tech juice in all these websites um, wired.com has always been one of my favorite blogs because uh, the, the the their writing style resonates well with uh, the kind of content i write so uh, copywriting is something i'm very excited uh, about and hopefully people will learn a lot about copywriting now after copywriting playlist just to summarize everything in detail for all the new viewers uh, who have just joined this stream we are going to create different playlists starting with freelancing and an inside freelancing playlist we are going to have uh, you know 100 odd videos explaining every nitty gritty details about freelancing alongside freelancing we are going to have a playlist about digital marketing amid covid-19 where small businesses are struggling all over the world if you are a small business or if you are a wanna be business who wants to establish their footprint on the internet digital marketing is something you need to learn because establishing an internet business is one thing but promoting and marketing uh, and and marketing to the audience target audience is another and uh, in digital marketing playlist we are not only going to learn how to uh, identify the keywords people are searching for but also we are going to learn search engine optimization we are going to learn how we uh, could seamlessly be able 
to get indexed for our business related keywords. Now, alongside digital marketing, social media is a talk of the town. When you talk about Facebook and Facebook owned companies, I keep on saying with 2.6 billion active users in Facebook, higher than the number of cars on the roads and planes in the skies all over the world. Uh, Facebook is the Godzilla of all the internet based mediums. And uh, uh, if you create your effective presence on Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp, and then of course on other um, business related social media accounts such as LinkedIn, and then if you learn how to use uh, Quora.com effectively, all you are doing is giving yourself an outright fair chance of reaching out to your targeted audience using these different social media platforms. And I'm going to teach you every small details you ever wanted to learn how to advertise on Facebook on Instagram uh, to begin with, how to integrate Instagram with your Facebook and then how to advertise and reach out to your target audience by spending less money. The mistake people make when they spend money on Facebook and Facebook owned companies is, is that they end up spending a whole lot without getting good return on their investment. And in this social media marketing playlist, uh, you are going to learn how to get good return on an investment with every single dime and dollar you have paid on uh, for advertisement on Facebook and how to get more people contacting you uh, and once people begin to contact you for business inquiries you are you have gamed it literally now alongside uh, uh, social media marketing we're going to talk about blogging I came across the importance of having a blog for myself four years back when I was struggling to get uh, new projects new high paying do uh, projects for my freelance work. Now, when I say I was struggling to get freelance projects, I specifically mentioned to high paying projects. You can still go on different marketplaces and get projects worth $50, $100, $150, and but that doesn't uh, work for me because as an agency owner who has to pay salaries of uh, 15 plus people, we've got to have projects uh, that could, you know, do justice with the salaries and the expenses and all this stuff. So uh, uh, I had to, uh, you know, explore uh, multiple sources of income. And that is where I came across this opportunity for blogging. And uh, I learned blogging from one of the masters of blogging. Um, and then I opened up my blog called beanguru.com and uh, the first year was a real struggle 2016 and to be honest the first two quarters of 2017 were no different either but then through practice I sort of like uh, began to learn the importance of search engine optimization I began to understand the importance of uh, uh, identifying the trending topics so that when you talk about them and when you write about them, uh, people engage better and uh, how to use social media and how to leverage on social media platforms to uh, get more views on your different blog posts. So uh, over a period of time when I started practicing now at the end of the day, if you take a uh, you know, leaf out of my book, the one single takeaway is consistency is the key. If you want to progress in life, keep doing it without skipping a beat. Keep moving forward. And that's what uh, I have done. That's what I would advise you to pay a low, you know, a very close attention to. Because if you are consistent, you'll keep it. If you're persistent, you'll get it. So, uh, uh, after blogging playlist, we are going to have a different, uh, another playlist that is going to talk about YouTube. How to grow your channel on YouTube. How to get 
1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours and uh, be able to monetize your YouTube channel because uh, YouTube is one of the best way of making passive income. So when you're sleeping, when you're driving, when you're having fun, not sure what your definition of fun is. Mine is different, by the way. You're making money because somebody somewhere is watching your content on YouTube. And uh, when somebody is watching your content on your YouTube channel, you're making passive money. So uh, we are going to learn how to rank our videos for business related keywords. And uh, alongside this YouTube playlist, we are going to learn from another playlist and that's called digital products. So if you want to make passive income, you got to learn how to have digital products. Digital products mean that it's a, it's, it's just a product lying idle on the shelf for a potential customer to buy. If, you, if I give you a few examples, ebook is a digital product. So if you uh, write an ebook uh, and make sure that it's uh, written on a trending or in, written on a topic that is good enough for people to learn from, or uh, if that ebook educates people, um, there's a good chance it will sell. Alongside ebook, another good example of digital products is to create a store at Etsy. Now, with uh, uh, you know Etsy, you are able to make a lot of passive income. Then another way of making passive income is uh, design T-shirts on uh, Teespring.com. Now, with T-shirts designed on Teespring, if anybody comes on Teespring.com and they buy your design T-shirt, you get paid. You don't get paid instantly when you design t-shirts. It's like you are a designer, you design uh, attire, different apparels, and you take it to a brand and request them to showcase in their shop. And when a customer comes in and uh, they like a product, they buy it, they purchase it, uh, you get a percentage because you are the actual designer of that product. Again, it's a passive income and uh, you are not required to sit on your desk 24 seven all the time. And I actually love digital products because the reason why I was able to get uh, a lot of other businesses going was because I was able to get this continuous income stream from my multiple digital products. Another way of uh, creating an effective digital product is to have a one to one consultation and that's a paid consultation. So on this channel, since it's a, for it is a meant for an international audience down the road, once you consume all the content from different playlists, by the way, we are we will continue doing these live streams so that I get in touch with you folks. Uh, I'm sure you will have a zillions of questions to ask once you go through uh, content inside different playlists, um, then we are going to consult, uh, you know, uh, we are going to have this one to one consultation. And that, that's, of course, where I'm going to charge uh, all the foreigners here. Uh, again, uh, ebook or a digital book or a written ebook, which is a paper ebook, paperback, all of these uh, uh, different, uh, you know, avenues of making passive income are going to be discussed inside the playlist of uh, digital products. So let me recap it for you guys who have just joined it, uh, who've just joined the stream right now. We are finally, finally getting started. Uh, I was waiting for sponsors to uh, come in. But unfortunately, that is not going to happen and I'm not going to wait any longer. So I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to start recording my videos starting tomorrow, which is Monday for freelancing. So here's what you're going, you are going to learn. You are going to learn freelancing. You are going to learn digital marketing. You are going to learn social media marketing. You are going to learn 
blogging, you are going to learn how to grow your channel on YouTube, you are growing, you are going to learn how to grow your digital products and make passive income, you are going to learn the importance of copywriting, you are going to learn the importance of uh, uh, learning English. Uh, copywriting and in English are two different things. One falls inside the communication bracket and uh, cop copywriting is more towards uh, summarizing uh, your offer. Uh, we are going to learn copywriting and social media marketing uh, sponsored posts as well. So that's it, folks. Uh, the excitement begins right now. And uh, that's where I'm going to spend uh, next couple of months with you guys coming live often uh, creating playlists uh, recording videos and I have set aside eight hours of my day Monday to Friday for recording these videos starting Monday so expect to get a lot of free knowledge coming your way expect to get a lot of screen shared knowledge because when I'm going to create these videos for different playlists, you are only going to see me for probably at most 15% of the camera. Rest of the 85% is going to be covered by sharing my screen because the idea is to give you hands down knowledge. Idea is to educate you with uh, all the, uh, you know, information about uh, how to, uh, you know, uh, learn from different websites and different softwares and how you could, uh, uh, you know, use it to your advantage. But last but not least, uh, as I would request you to drop in your country list, start right now. And I would like to know where uh, in the world you are watching this stream from. Uh, last but not the least, you got to understand that uh, practice makes one perfect. If you want to make money freelancing, you got to learn a skill. If you want to make money as a blogger, you got to create a blog where you can write effective English. If you want to make money through social media or digital marketing, you got to understand the importance of search engine optimization. And you got to understand the importance of copywriting for social media marketing. If you want to make money YouTube, you got to have good communication skills alongside some technical skills that are required to grow your YouTube channel. If you want to sell digital products, you got to have a lot of substance in your digital products that should be good enough for your customer uh, to, to, to get convinced and, uh, and buy from you. Copywriting, the importance of converting features into benefits, the importance of highlighting um, the, the the you importance over I importance. So you don't talk about me, 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 me when you are, uh, you know, uh, making a making an effort to, uh, call, you know, uh, write a, a good statement to sell a product or a service. Copywriting is all about you and you means customer. So this is it. this is it, folks. Uh, is there anybody from US or UK or Canada or any other European country watching this live stream? Because for you guys, there's an, another exciting offer. A lot of people from Bison in India, UAE, wonderful. Islamabad, that's where I live, Rashta. India, Prajwal, of course I know you're from India, yeah. English people are not sleeping. I can show you they are watching this stream, but they prefer not to come on front. And I can promise you this. I can promise you this. So we got raised from Sweden. Uh, wonderful. Hold on for a second. You'll find out. I'm pretty much sure that uh, there are people who are watching this stream Kaka Bhai is from Afghanistan. I know this. Absolutely, Rahul. And uh, I've got this main channel, which is in Urdu. And of course, we speak Urdu, which is pretty similar to Hindi. 
Rahul, I am not Indian, I am Pakistani. I live in Islamabad. Agun, I wish I could understand what you have written, but I don't understand Hindi or or uh, or Bengali. So here we have Azam Khan from Houston. Wonderful. Vinu is from India. Yeah, I know this. So anyways, anyways, we're not going to waste our time here uh, knowing about people and their countries. Wow. What's more exciting is we are finally rebooting our channel being guru 2.0 and the action starts tomorrow i'm going to start with recording a playlist for freelancing i'm going to upload this playlist on my channel uh, being guru 2.0 and if you could do me a favor if you have not liked this video i would request you to like this video and if you've not subscribed my channel if you're watching me for the first time I would request you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. And if I'm not asking you uh, much, uh, and if I can still take a liberty, perhaps share my channel onto your Facebook and other social media accounts. Prajwal, with this, I wish you all the very best for this year. Uh, legends are born in January. Uh, don't worry, my friend. There is another one coming in 10 days, 20th of January, and uh, we're going to celebrate this amazing year. All the blessings, wishing you all the very best uh, with the hope that uh, I'm able to do, do the justice uh, and I'm not going to leave any stone unturned in uh, transferring all the knowledge I have about these different skill sets and uh, create new champions. You, the new champions. Uh, Aguna, I'm so sorry to hear that, bro, but uh, we are no political people. I, I really apologize and I feel for you for going through this, but uh, uh, we are no political people. I mean, we are. Uh, we are all, you know, here for a humanitarian basis to help each other out uh, uh, with learning new skills that could enable them and empower them in making uh, good money on the internet. Uh, that's a, that's the only thing I would like to, uh, you know, answer uh, in, with, with regards to your concern. Hey, folks. Yeah, I'm on 20th, 20th January. That's it. So I'll be there and we'll celebrate, celebrate my birthday live on this channel, uh, hopefully. So we are humans. Yeah, Prajwal is absolutely right. We are humans. I mean, regardless of our of religion, of our skin color, of, of our ethnic background, of our country of existence, we are here for each other. And I think, you know, uh, humans grow in their individual capacity when they think beyond the beyond the shores of uh, of, of their borders and uh, uh, human humanity uh, wins by a long way and when i say humanity wins by a long way i predominantly refer to the importance of feeling the pain of others so that's where you know uh, nothing comes into equation when you start feeling pain of others. Wish you all the very best and uh, watch out for the playlist, folks. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and share this video on your social media accounts. That would be a great, great favor. Thank you. Bye.